Do you think that President Obama got the right message out tonight following uh, this unexpected and serious incident of the shooting down of the Russian jet by Turkey? I think he did. I think the real message today was solidarity and cooperation among all of us in the West against uh, ISIS and not uh, appearing uh, fluttered or scared by this incident between Turkey and Russia. Are Russia and Turkey part of the West? Well, Russia is not. I mean, the Turks are part of NATO, so uh, they were certainly within their rights in shooting down this plane. I think they're right about that. And I think that we need to express solidarity with them. I think we should not be, you know, acting as if we're terrified now of World War III. Do you think there is a need to try and work more with the Russians in spite of Ukraine, in spite of uh, the bellicose tone of President Putin, if uh, this ISIS priority is to be sorted out? Well, only if uh, ISIS is their priority too. As you know, much of the bombing they've done in Syria has been of Syrian rebels, not of ISIS. They've done some, uh, but not as much as the, um, the Western countries have done. And I think it's reasonable to think that they may be in there more to preserve Assad. Now, both President Hollande and President Obama said today really quite clearly, Assad has to go. Assad is part of the problem, not part of the solution. Assad is a kind of recruiting for ISIS with uh, the way he's murdering Sunnis. So I think the, um, the message today was that there will be limits on the cooperation with Russia. But there does need to be more coordination uh, to avoid a re repetition of incidents like this. Right, the, but, but that's coordination really just to deconflict uh, where there are flights. Although, you know, the deconfliction is supposed to be over Syria. Uh, this, this Russian plane appeared to be over Turkey, where it wasn't supposed to be at all. And there is a problem that uh, Russia appears to have been targeting Turkmen's uh, ethnic Turks uh, who are fighting IS, but who are also fighting Assad, who they want to preserve. Yeah, uh, that's the problem with the Russian involvement here. I mean, uh, they are trying to preserve Assad. We are not. And I think it's uh, the British view, the French view, the American view that he's got to go, that, that there will never be any kind of peace in Syria while he is ruling it after having killed so many Sunnis who are the majority in Syria. Does it matter in your view if Britain takes away uh, its block on taking part in military operations in Syria? Is that, would that be an important development? I think so. I, you know, I think the more solidarity there is uh, in Europe, between Europe and the U.S. within NATO, um, I think we are trying here to show a united front. Uh, and it's very, it, it just doesn't work for the Americans to do that without British participation. Maybe it's just a tradition, but we're used to having the British with us. And of course, the, the, vote by the, just, uh, the previous vote by the House of Commons two years ago against uh, military action in Syria had, had a very serious uh, diplomatic and military impact. It really did, and we're used to the special relationship, and we're used to working uh, with the UK. And it, it, it frankly, is a little bit odd today, um, you know, for all of us who remember uh, 10 years ago the French being completely uh, out of the in involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan. While we've been doing this now for over a decade, it, it's odd to see uh, the French really gung ho. Um, it's nice, uh, but it would be a lot better if we were all in in this together and it would be a step toward re-establishing something that a lot of people in Washington do uh, remember well and do value which is the special relationship with the UK. What, what about Turkey and handling Turkey? Obviously politics there are very volatile. Turkey is part of the wider Sunni uh, community. Can it be relied on? Well, you know, Erdogan has, has been a problem on many issues. I think it can be relied upon, you know, to protect its own interests. And it happens that those interests are largely in consonance with ours at this point. Uh, that is, they want Assad out. They want a Sunni government. Uh, they don't want more refugees. So if they just follow their national 
national interests here, which happen to include making sure that Russian planes can't at will overfly Turkey, uh, I think we're going to be okay. I think their interests and ours are aligned. Do you think there is a fundamental problem, as, as some have suggested, that uh, the Sunnis, including Saudi Arabia, in the end are part of a, a broader ideological alliance, if you like, with IS? Well, I think the Saudis, the Emiratis, uh, in particular the Qataris, you know, have been looking for anybody who would fight Iran, Hezbollah, uh, and the Assad regime. And we haven't given them a lot of help with the more uh, reasonable and moderate uh, Sunni rebels. So I, I think uh, if we step it up, France, the U.S., uh, hopefully the U.K., then I think we will be able uh, better to control which groups in Syria they're backing. Ellie Abrams.